what's up? I'm firefighter Ozzy. I'm firefighter Timmy. And we're with the Wilmington Fire Department. It's February, it's heart month, so let's talk about it. Sudden cardiac arrest is the number three killer in America. That means the chances of you using what we're about to show you is likely. There's two easy steps to save a life. Call 911, that being the most important one, to get us on the way to help out. Number two, push hard and fast in the center of the chest. Let's go over what it looks like in a little more detail to do those two steps. So you found someone that you believe to be in sudden cardiac arrest. You try to wake them up, hey, and they don't respond. You know now this is an emergency and you should call 911. The next thing you should do is push hard and fast in the center of the chest. A good way to do that is take your dominant hand, take the heel of your palm to the center of the chest, put your over, other hand over it, and start pushing 100 beats a minute and about two inches deep. A good way to remember how fast to push is to the beat of staying alive, baby shark, sweet home Alabama. And that'll help you stay on the right beat the whole time. Staying alive, staying alive, shama lama shama. Staying alive, staying alive. So as you're doing compressions, you might hear some cracking and popping. That's normal. That's how you know you're doing good compressions, that you're getting the depth that you need and you're also pumping blood throughout the body. So what we're doing here is we're manually stimulating the heart to get oxygenated blood to the important organs of the body. So what you're gonna do is, as, you're, as Ozzy was saying, you're gonna pump to the beat of the song, and so you're gonna manually stimulate the heart. You may get pretty tired doing this. We normally respond in four to six minutes, but when you're doing CPR at 100 beats a minute, that can feel like a really long time. So if you have somebody there to help you out, swap out, that's good too. But if not, just keep going. We're on the way and you got this. You ready, buddy? All right. We hope this training was helpful. We wish we could be there in person, but times won't allow it. But we can't encourage you enough to take action. Push hard and fast, because that's better than doing nothing. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Otherwise, we'll see you in the streets. Stay safe.